What's up guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather and I told you guys I was gonna get the lightning detector and uh, I got it right here and I told you I'll do a little review on it. Um, man, it kicked my butt getting this thing going. I am not that great when it comes to SD card and stuff but once I did it I felt like an idiot because it was easy to update and everything like that. So, um, thanks to Ed and the community at Ambient Weather for uh, helping me out with that and um, yeah. So let's just jump right to it guys. So. Um, I just kind of want to tell y'all what comes with this thing because it's pretty cool. Um, open this up. Comes with a zip tie like this. Uh, you got the manual. Uh, the manual is just, it's not a whole lot to it. Uh, there's a couple things to take notice and it's the dipsticks on it. And uh, you know, mine came with one up and uh, let me show y'all what I'm talking about here. Uh, this right here, let me make sure I got a good view of it. Uh, them dipsticks right here. Mine came with like number four, uh, I think up or something. But default says to keep them all down. So that's what I did. Just default all down. So I put all mine that way. Um, so that's that. Um, comes with a dipstick. Uh, not a dipstick, I'm sorry, a zip tie. And um, some screws comes with two screws to kind of get it going and what they want you to do is uh, to screw it somewhere on a wall whether it be outside they recommend you doing outside and um, put that zip tie on it and just kind of let it dangle and make sure it's vertical not horizontal something like that and they want it to be like that so uh, that's that with that so I'm going to put a good place for it and um, and we're gonna go from there guys so let's do it so I went on and put it up here. I used the zip tie they um, gave us and I just zip tied it up here under my gar garage port right here. The lighting's kind of bad and I just put it up there. Um, I might get rid of the zip tie and just use the nail, but for right now I'm gonna have it just like that. Um, for other people who haven't seen my videos, that is my other temperature sensor. Um, and it's over here on my roof. It's my weather station. You can see it up here. We're actually experiencing some thunderstorms in the area. Well, I wouldn't even call them storms or tropical downpours from what's going to be Tropical Storm Faye. And uh, no lightning strikes in the area off radar scope. So, not a good chance to yet test it out. But let's go on and um, go to the next feature of this uh, lightning. So really, once you get the batteries in, uh, to, for me at least and I've, I've heard other people say it wasn't as simple as this but for me and what it's supposed to do is uh, that icon right there is supposed to immediately show up and this is obviously after you do the update and the uh, Wi-Fi firmware update and things like that that shows up and it will show you when you get a lightning strike and I haven't yet be awesome if we can get one like right now because there is some stronger showers in the area that could develop into some storms and pop off some lightning bolts here soon but that's where it pops up um, so that that's a cool feature. Oh, check it out. I literally just got my first lightning strike on film Wow 11 miles away. That is super cool and check it out Notification just now of, And I went on to set up because you set up text alerts Notification just now on my first lightning strike and it's greater than zero. So Check it out. Got it on film for you guys of how that works. First lightning bolt ever with the lightning detector. So, um, you see it on there. I just showed you can sign up for text. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm sure you do. But if y'all are new to it, it's pretty much as simple as clicking that. You can go here and you can go to device oh no yep alerts and set it up right here so that is a really really cool thing that you can do there so check it out if you got the app um it immediately pops up on your app um and you should scroll down depending on if you have a phone and check it out i've had two lightning strikes now um since the last section of the video so there's been two the last one was 12 miles away um last strike was one minute ago and we are on the board so it's really cool that y'all got to experience it in real time there um but 
I mean, I tell you guys, I, I, I praise ambient weather all the time and I try to get people to switch because it is cost efficient and everything and it's just awesome. So um, that's pretty much all the video. Simple hookup. I recommend it for anybody and check it out. Check out the verification on this. You go to my Radar Scope app and um, let me zoom in. I am in South Carolina. Hopefully y'all can see this good. But uh, let's see. Ah, man, I don't know how good it's coming up, but there's a lightning strike right there. So um, it verified I'm right there. If y'all know anything about radar scope, I can't really tell how good this is coming in. But anyways, the lightning bolt is right there. I'm trying to see what that second one is, but there is another one out there. So um, check it out. That lightning bolt is right there in that cell. But so really cool thing there um that's really all i gotta say about it not even 50 bucks on the ambient weather site so get it while they're still in stock it's what they look like and uh that is my review video um i got y'all some action in real life so uh, that's pretty cool y'all have an awesome day i also got the soul sensor i'm gonna do a video on that next it'll probably be tomorrow or the next day and uh that's all i got guys y'all have a good day